Thunderclap catastrophe. Alexei, four greater fiends, the four sub bosses, the four heavenly kings. Uh, it's New York. Uh, Ryu's just there because he thought Elizabeth A would be there. Island. An exquisite city of stardust. Breathtaking. Look at this nerd. But you, my lady, must be so tired of the view. <laughs> How's that, my dear? Are you pleased? Oh, this guy's in love with her. I know you mentioned. Oh, he's making out with a statue. <laughs> I feel like some of this is like so heavily Japanese that it just doesn't translate well when they just put it in the West. Like it, the designs of the enemies are very Japanese monster design. Uh, like. Like, it doesn't have the same significance, maybe? Because I look at Alexei and I think, what a weird costume choice. What a weird visual design. I don't think, oh wow, he looks sinister and graceful. I think, why has he got spindly ghost hands? But why has he got like the torso of a hot guy and then dumbass ram horns? <laughs> I don't think, ooh, intimidating, yet sexual. I'm thinking, what the fuck? <laughs> I have to notice a lot of, I've noticed a lot of Japanese games where there's a horror character. That's like, most recently, Lady Dimitrescu. Uh, they got the long, spindly fingers and the black, long hands with the spiky fingers, and they're like, shing! And you're just sat there like, that is such a Japanese trope. I've seen that in a lot. No, doggo, no. He wasn't even a ninja dog. He just tried to fight me. That's a ninja dog. Oh, I'm getting bodied. Ah. I'm trying to do flying swallow to try and, like, get strike them, but, like, they keep barrel rolling into me. <laughs> Again, the usage of herbs as healing items. Very Japanese trope, I feel. It just feels like a Japanese thing. Like in our culture, we think, haha, herb. 420 blaze it. <laughs> we wouldn't make it a healing item unless it was a joke. Like it was like a weed joke. We'd like make food a healing item. Chicken. But then again, that's a very... That was in Tekken. Japanese game. <laughs> I want to know why it's always herbs. Using herbs. Is it like from traditional medicine? Are you dead? That guy gave off the weirdest moan when I hit him there. He was like, Hurr. <laughs> It's an arrow, dude. Not one that gives you stando power. You gotta love this super twee. Uh, <laughs> graffiti on the walls, like... It's the USA, it's New York, so there's graffiti. But we don't understand what graffiti is, so we're just gonna put random phrases on the wall, and it's like, yeah, liberty, yeah, demon, because the game has demons in it. Then <laughs> you're just like, no. What? That's not. Actual graffiti is normally like, either like some tag of someone's name, 
or like just something dumb like Ryu Hayabusa was here and a picture of a cock. <laughs> <laughs> every wall. There's so gonna be a guy. Yeah. Dead. Not dead. <laughs> Fuck. I forgot block. Oh, you're a magic guy. I forgot. Ah, oh, you... This guy is... The fireball staggy you. It's bollocks. Yeah. Interrupted your bullshit. Shurikens don't interrupt their magic bullshit. I thought they did. You know I have to. <laughs> <coughs> hmm. Okay, we're doing this. The hoppity hops. Why haven't I used? Hmm. Uh, yeah, I, I don't use this enough, I'll show it. I don't like big slow weapon. Again, comically large big slow weapon. I think this translates as really cool in Japanese games like Monster Hunter. But for me, I just look at it and think, that's not practical. <laughs> I know it's not just a Japanese video game thing now, like, you know, loads of games, Western and Eastern do this, but like, I, I associate it the most with things like Monster Hunter. And it's just like, that's silly. Like, look at that. That doesn't, that doesn't do anything. Liberty. I can't even read the next one. Pop. Pop. Cop. I can't even read those. Hello, friends. I mean, it kills them quick. But, like, it's not like I hate the gameplay. <laughs> Jesus, that guy got fucking bodied by that wall. <laughs> you imagine you throw a guy at a wall so hard that his head and his leg come flying off. <laughs> Jeez. Oh. I'm seeing what spinning the stick does, and it does spinny stuff. Quite humorous. Uh. Yo, I was out last night. I got in the fight at the club, and I threw a guy so hard his head came off. <laughs> like, Ooh, you're going to jail, sir. <laughs> <coughs> Time to try a new thing. Yeah, let's go to here. And use these for a while. There's probably a reason. I'm bad. Dead. Oh, my leg. I like this one because you can grab people with the chain and stab the legs. No, no, no. Oh, fuck, I didn't expect it there. They're all crawling towards me like, no, I'm gonna get you. I rely way too much on the guillotine for it. And it has a very specific range. There we go. 
didn't really kept running around. It made it really hard to perform the execution on him there. <coughs> hmm. I hope misread that sign. There's a New York Police Department, and then the yellow sign above the door said "Thank you," and I thought it said "Fuck you." <laughs> and I was like, "Whoa!" Scathing political commentary from this very old video game <laughs> about ninjas and ninja dogs. Smack! 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 Always make me fight the dogs, man. At least there's no ninja cats. Why you gotta make them have a horrible death sound where you're like, oh, I'm sorry, but you tried to kill me. Oh yeah, this just says, yo. There are four fiends. We mentioned them in the scroll before. Here's their elements. And it like, kinda like, yeah, I get they're different, but that feels like there should be thematically a just one god to cover that. This guy, Alexei, is the god of lightning. Or the fiend of lightning, or the demon of lightning. And then there's another guy you fight who's the one of the storms. And you're thinking, don't those two things kind of have some crossover? Why don't you just have one? Does both. We're literally underneath a lightning storm right now. <laughs> you know? Maybe it translates differently, and that's why it makes very little sense. I don't know. Bat on bat action. No, you killed my friend. Oh, fuck you. Straight in. Oh, okay. So that's just your thing, is to be... Prick. <laughs> Suddenly the game is really loud. <laughs> what the fuck? Don't kill me, no. I can't die. I'm the protagonist. Haha. <laughs> They have green blood. I was like, oh, a chest, oh, a prompt. There might be something cool here. Seriously. <laughs> thanks. There's a hole in the ground. Yeah, I know. You can go in it. Yeah, thanks for wasting my time with this prompt. Did you know hole means progress? Wait. <laughs> ah, dog. Stop sending the doves. I will not invest in your coin, sir. Ah! <laughs> He's angry. I'm sorry, it just has a negative trend. <laughs> God, I would know. <laughs> and that's why you don't put all your money in unstable cryptos, everyone. You put less than a pound in and see what happens. <laughs> The answer is you have 60p. <laughs> it's better than losing like hundreds of dollars or pounds or whatever you're running on. <laughs> oh, I did it wrong because I'm stupid. It's okay. It's not like people are watching. <laughs> Give Gimme box. I'm glad whoever positions these boxes knows exactly what angle uh, I will see them at. Like this one. So they're always facing me as I approach them. Uh. Ow. Ow. <laughs> it just flipped me. It keeps quick turning, and I don't know how I'm doing it, it just quick turns. Are you dead? Oh, it's hiding like a little bitch. Ow. 
I'm drowning. Glad all my weapons are rust proof. The technique of running on the wall. Can you run on the wall? I. Well, I could have done if I didn't need to unlock the tutorial first. Ow. Oh. Where are these nerds? Ah, oh, they're still there. Like, if you make your sewer level too, like, repetitive, it gets to the point where if you loop back at any point, you're like, wait, which way is the right way? And you have to try and find enemies to work out where the fuck you're going. Oh, you... Stop it! <laughs> Stop! Plus... Don't make me pull out the gun. Does the same amount of damage as the bow and arrow. Oh, it's dudes. <laughs> that guy was like, oh boy, I can't wait to fight Ryu. Oh, my head is gone. <laughs> Poor bastard. Oh, my knee. He killed my knee. Ah. Can I escape that? Oh, you bitch. I'll hide around the corner and punch you as you come around like a douche. Yeah. Let's change. Yeah, I haven't used this more than once. It's pretty fun, but I take a lot of damage using it because I'm bad. I'm like, huh? Which wan? Is it this wan? Meow. I will run around. That is indeed the way I have to go. Not my favorite platforming of all time. It's just kind of there. It's very obvious they were like, look guys, combat and boobs. <laughs> and then was like, oh, you, you, want, you want traversal sections, uh, I guess. Clean. Must all be clean. <laughs> There's literally nothing to your weapon if it's covered in blood. Oh, this bit. Pew. Pew. We will see a strange glitch in a second. I noticed this while recording. Where suddenly... Oh. No, not suddenly. In one of these, I hit the fan, it explodes, and then the button comes back, and I have to hit it again for some reason. Might be this one. So that we, we climb up. And look. What? But it's gone now. Huh. Oh well. Boy, I hope someone got fired for that one. <laughs> splish, splish. Do I go down here? I think I go down here. God, this section, the swimming is really slow. You have to stare at Ryu's weirdly, like, very tight 
Keens and see his curved ass, and I just I don't want to. <laughs> I'm not really not interested. textured it's the, the way out <laughs> okay yeah more dudes it slices everyone oh no but it's too slow to deal with these assholes oh fuck Ah. No! say more dudes there was one more dude who just showed up late Gotta clean it. <laughs> if it's the section, I think it is. Ton for time, I guess. Not for it's not the section I think it is, so section I think it is. In the original Xbox game, when I first played this game, some of these sections confused me so fucking much that I just quit the game for months because I was like, I don't get what I'm supposed to be doing here. Not this bit. Ah. Man, this isn't the best angle for this shit. <laughs> ah. Die already. Oh my god, just stop. No. 
scared. There's another one of you. Now it's the weird section. Like this whole game hasn't been weird from the beginning to the end. Old man metal fish. Looks like some like 80s metal album cover that's trying to evoke that it's like Motorhead but isn't Motorhead, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, like the face looks like the war pig a little bit, but then it's like a giant fish instead and it will be called like Metal Fish. And I cannot remember when I played this on my own how I defeated it so easily, but I annihilated this guy last time and now I'm sat here like what do I do? Do I hit him or do I just shoot him a bunch? Because that's kind of boring. Oh yeah, and there's no explanation. He has no name. He's just here. Like yeah, he's, I don't know if he's like from a previous game. He's just some weird gunfish. Steel type, steel flying type Gyarados. Ah, shit. I can shoot electric. But I don't understand. Yeah, this was around the time on the Xbox version when I first played it. I put down the game going, what the fuck and how? <laughs> how do I beat this? I did some damage. You can hit his tail, but like... Pretty sure that's what I did last time to win really quickly. Ah! Suicide fish, baby. go and finish him. We're just gonna leave this weird animal with the Japanese developer's face on it <laughs> and just pretend that never happened. Master Ninja. Again. <laughs>